Hey everybody, welcome back to yet another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. Hi, I am Greg, and if you're new here, thank you for joining us. Please consider hitting that subscribe button, supporting this channel, and if you've been watching these videos all along and have yet to subscribe as well, please do the same. And with that said, let's get into today's video, shall we? So Ron Rivera was being interviewed at the coaches meeting yesterday and, and you know, being asked several questions uh, anywhere from, you know, how and why, um, you know, his decisions into picking the quarterback, drafting quarterbacks, you know, getting a quarterback in free agency. And he went through the whole process. A lot of, a lot of his answers seem to be kind of your, your basic political type of questions. Uh, Ron Rivera speak, as I like to call it. Um, one, one thing that really stood out that a lot of uh, the media was repeating over and over again is, is one thing he mentioned, and I believe the, the question was probably, I couldn't really hear the questions too well, but I think the question was, you know, why was the Washington Commanders never really respect it? Um, you know, that, that along, along those type of lines of questioning. And, you know, Rivera basically said, look, I get it, you know, um, I understand we're an easy target, but I'm, I'm frankly tired of it. Yes, you should be tired of it, he said. But I also realize that the only way to fix it is, well, basically to win. And, well, yeah, Washington needs to start winning. So, you know, hopefully Washington will start winning. And I think Rivera is trying his best to, you know, create a, a winning culture in Washington. You know, fans certainly by year three start to get a little antsy because, you know, year two wasn't necessarily a continuation or a, a um, trajectory upward as it looked at, like it should have been from year one. Because I think, honestly, I think we overachieved in, in year one in some respects, but it's not what the scope of this video is. But anyway, so, you know, Ron Rivera had a lot to say about that. Didn't really go into details about, you know, what their plans are as far as um, the draft or anything like that. But um, he did offer some information about Chase Young. Kind of sounds like Chase is going to be there for OTAs. He's ready. He's making great progress in his, uh, uh, you know, his recovery. He's ready to go. And if anything, I think this injury has humbled Chase Young. I think it hopefully it's refocused Chase Young, and I'm I'm ready to see Young back on the field. I think a lot of us are ready to see Young back on the field, and I hope, I really hope and pray that he is able to have a year like he did in this rookie season. His rookie season, he was just a beast. You could really see this guy is going to be, um, I would say, probably everybody's favorite word, generational type of player. And then, you know, his sophomore year comes in, and then all of a sudden, um, you know, he, he is a shell of, of the player he was before. So we'll see, we'll see definitely what happens, but it's good to, to hear that you know, Young is not being, you know, feeding into the social media thing and doing the whole I'm all in for game one sort of RG3 thing. You know, he, he's staying focused, and I think that's what he needs to do. Now we're going to talk about the NFL rules. Now the NFL rules was voted on for overtime, so guess what? It looks like the NFL rules are going to change more – or one more time for overtime. So now both teams are going to have a chance, no matter what, both teams are going to have a chance to have the ball, to possess the ball in overtime. The only difference will be is if the team that kicks off to the other team scores a safety on a possession of the other team. <laughs> You got that? Makes perfect sense, right? So basically, the uh, first 
the team that possesses the ball in the offense first in overtime, if they give up a safety, then they lose the ball game. Otherwise, if the first team that possesses the, the ball goes downfield, scores a touchdown, the other team gets an opportunity to tie the game. If the other team comes down, ties the game, the game keeps going. Now, people will say, well, what if they tie the game? Well, yeah, the game keeps going. Then the next team comes back, and if they score, they win. That's what is going to happen. So, I mean, you know, I'm pretty sure that at some point people will complain about that and say, well, you know, why didn't the other team have a chance to have a second possession and, you know, tie the game as well? It's going to keep going and going like this probably until, really until you change it to the point where you have the overtime rules. I think college may do this where you just put the ball on the 20-yard line and see if the team can score, and you keep doing that till a team can't score, and then that's it. You know, a true sudden death. They might as well would have just, you know, elected to do that and be, you know, done with it. But we're going to try this for a few years and see what happens. But, yeah, I guess, you know, enough people complained about uh, the games last year. Uh, the one with, uh, you know, Kansas City and Buffalo. And they really want to see Buffalo have another shot at it. So, here you go. You know, if we have another Kansas City versus Buffalo round two this year, then, you know, maybe uh, maybe this time this will, will this will fix all of those issues. And now, guess what? We heard from the commissioner, Roger Goodell, on Dan Snyder. So, Roger Goodell comes out, and we were all, you know, waiting to see, okay, what is going to happen because... Uh, certainly we were hoping that the NFL owners would wind up voting Dan Snyder out, right? Because all this talk about, you know, the other 31 owners are getting tired of Snyder. I think they're ready to have him out. All this stuff. And it's clearly, NFL has to be, Dan Snyder has to be ha having something on the NFL. and Or the NFL has to be hiding something as it pertains to Dan Snyder, because Goodell comes out and says, well, wait a minute. You know, Dan Snyder, you know, he's suspended indefinitely from day-to-day -day operations with the team. You know, Tanya has ran the team up to this point and will continue to do so. Snyder has not been reinstated. He has not been allowed at, you know, the headquarters and all of this, and well, this will continue to be in place. This seems to work. I mean, come on, like, you don't think for one second that Snyder just sits at home watching the prices right. That he, you know, he, he stays completely away, doesn't make any calls. Um, you know, he doesn't, you know, talk shop with his wife and say, okay, this is what you need to do. Of course, Dan Snyder is involved in day-to-day -day operations. Goodell is not an idiot. He knows he knows this is going on. And I would dare say if Snyder probably isn't at the facility at some point. You know, I mean, the NFL can't keep an eye on Snyder 24-7 unless they hire a private investigator. But... I just think that this was, you know, this was one of those situations where everybody's like, mm hmm, see, I told you, you know, there is something to hide. There is some sort of protection going on because this, cons this conspiracy is much bigger than it pertains to just Dan Snyder. 
and we'll you know we've already seen a little bit of the cracks so we know that there's something much bigger out there than than what we have and I don't even know if we're ever going to hear anything from this investigation if we do it's going to come back probably empty you know right now I mean all this started back in what January uh, have we heard anything right now we, we've heard nothing um, you know her talks about you know the owners getting tired of Dan Snyder we're thinking oh maybe they'll think about voting them out have they done that no are they going to do that no that they probably won't not unless you know something really concrete just so atrocious that or atrocious that you know you have to get this out but otherwise we're going to be stuck with Dan Snyder. We are. You know, you can say that he's suspended indefinitely from day-to-day -day activities, but that just means that, you know, he's suspended from being in the public eye. He is still very much involved in day-to-day -day activities. You can guarantee that. And, you know... We're just going to have to kind of grin and bear it and see. Now, I hate it for the ladies that have really fought to try to get this report released. The Beth Wilkinson report, and I think that it should be released. I don't think it ever will be released. And it's probably a, a futile fight at this point. But it just shows you how powerful the NFL is and how much of a brotherhood, I guess, it really is. They're going to protect their own. And um, until at the point where it is not feasible for them to protect Nan Snyder and it does become more of a, a thing for them to sacrifice him in order to protect the other 31 um, owners. And uh, until then, honestly, they're going to continue to protect Snyder. So no surprise there <laughs> that Goodell would come out in support and say, hey, Everything's going exactly the way it should. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. There's no problems whatsoever. Anyway, guys, what do you think? Um, NFL rules have changed. Uh, Ron Rivera, mad. Dan Snyder still in charge, but not really. Let me know in the comments section below. And again... If you're enjoying this channel, please consider supporting it by subscribing to this channel. It's the least you can do. It's free. But if you are really enjoying this channel and you really want to support me and I need all the support I can get, sometimes mentally, emotionally, <laughs> um, I do have a Patreon link in the description below. Uh, I would really appreciate it if you could visit that Patreon link. Um, if you could support me on Patreon, that would be great. Um, I haven't really been very busy over there lately. I hope to try to uh, put out some more content, maybe exclusive content over there that would make it a little bit more worth your while. I'm also working on uh, some other sponsorships uh, that might be uh, uh, something that you guys might be, uh, I guess, uh, what, what's the right word? Um, well just working on other sponsors okay i'm still half asleep haven't had, had any caffeine yet so anyway i'm going to end this video before i get any more tongue-tied and we're just going to go ahead and hop into this other video starting now.